So my first official words as Stomp and Tom are, thank you, Peterborough. <laughs> now here's a little song about how folks in another Ontario town like to spend their weekends. How did you do that? Um, That's a good question. Right? <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, he knows when I was, this. He knows when I was upstairs a little while ago, we saw printed off copies of this little... Beautiful. There you go. Prop magic. The prop it was, yeah, it's amazing. They know how to source whatever they want. <laughs> and they create whatever they... And then yeah. it's, it's imagine it's something. It is water. Oh, I, I trust you, honey. I can tell if it wasn't. Anyway. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's water. <laughs> okay, let's um, start with uh, grown-up Tom. Yeah. Okay, um... I was talking with my one of my bosses about uh, Stomp and Tom. He says he's so amateurish. What is your comment? Amateurish. Yeah. Uh, in terms of his like, well, I, I, unpolished maybe is a better term. I, I would say maybe okay. Tell unpolished. Maybe he's not a musical virtuoso, but he <laughs> was more about uh, uh, being a songwriter and uh, and, uh, and writing songs about. Uh, everybody he met in, in Canada from all 10 provinces and, and the territories. So, uh, you know, the best songwriters aren't always the prettiest singers, but boy, does he ever have the right character for, for the right song. I have found that too. It's, uh, it's, it's authentic is the word that comes to mind for Very. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I understand he started out as an orphan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. here's your mother on stage. What's the mm -hmm. deal? Well, <laughs> I, I don't want to give any spoilers, but okay. we, uh, we tell that story uh, here in the, in the show. We, we'll uh, find out. We will find out. Okay. We will find out how, in fact, he got separated from his mother, how he found himself in an orphanage, how he found himself in a foster home, how he found himself riding the rails, literally riding the rails, uh, at age of 14. Cheapers. Yeah. With a guitar literally singing for his supper. <laughs> Um, it was, sounds, sounds like a rough life, and uh, he had this rough kind of genius. It's wonderful the way it just translates beautifully. Well, I mean, he saw all kinds of Canada. He says himself, and I think this comes from a, a book, uh, that was his real education, mm -hmm. uh, going back and forth across the country and, you know, relying on, he says, I never would have survived without the hospitality of the people of northern Ontario, people who, who, who took him in. And, uh, and we see a little bit of that too. I have found uh, people like that, the northern areas, the remote areas, the east, they're just beautiful, lovely people. It's, and I guess that was um, important to him. Yeah, well, I mean, you see it in other shows like Come From Away. It's like, uh, oh, sure. Yeah. The people in the, in the Maritimes generally like open their doors. Here, you're welcome. The Canada that he sings about is a very warm place. Most often, yeah. Yeah. Most often. I mean, he has some slightly cynical songs. One that you don't see in the show uh, is... The one we just heard. Uh-oh. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, but, uh, oh, I'm sorry. The question was uh, the warmth of Canada? Yeah. That comes through for me, but um, as you say, there's more to it. He writes about all uh, aspects. He has a song that used to be, I think, the, the theme to the show Marketplace, where he says, we're the consumer. I knew and that was him. I remember yeah. him, like, him stomping and everything. Yeah. That goes back. Yeah. yeah. And he talks about uh, the, the hard labor of working on a tobacco farm in uh, Tilsonburg, and that one's in the show. Oh, yes. So there's, the, there's all the aspects of, uh, of what Canadian life is, and he sings about you know, the regular people and the workers. And uh, another song that's not in the show, Margot's Cargo. <laughs> a couple of... That goes back as well. A couple of Newfoundlanders <laughs> bringing their cowsy dungsy clock to Toronto to sell. <laughs> now, you. You play three instruments, you say? Uh, four. Four, okay. Um, banjo. I have always heard that is so dreadfully difficult to play. Am I right? No. Well... <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, not for you. Maybe not for me. Um, but it's not—it's not a banjo. It's a banjo uke. So okay. it's like a smaller version of. 
Okay, a banjo, yeah. but I've never played a stringed instrument. Okay. So it was a very nice experience to learn that. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say for me it was very hard. Yeah. But, yeah. He's a clever one. This one. Yeah. He picks up. He's picked up a lot in this process. Learning new instruments for one thing. I guess I'm very impressed. Thank you. Wow. Okay, uh, so now you play seven instruments, am I right? Uh, four. Okay, four it is. Let's just stick with four then. Okay. Uh, what are they? Um, the piano, the shaker, the banjo, uke, and the washboard. Okay. Now the washboard and shaker are percussion, so they're not that hard to pick up. Um, for the washboard, it's a lot of just, like, going on the chorus. So it's yeah. very percussion based. Yes. A shaker too. Okay. Now, um, in the show, you play instruments, obviously. Uh, do you have any, uh, what's your part? I play, my lead role is Tommy, mm -hmm. but I play a couple other characters, um, just in the ensemble. Oh, sure. Okay. Is, um, you would not have any personal memories of Stop and Tom. No. Okay. Well, I first kind of heard of him when I first tried out for this performance. How did you learn about him in order to uh, maybe make your performance a little better? Um, I listened to songs a lot and I wanted to like get the rhythm to of the songs. And I noticed that um, it's very free form. You kind of flow around the stage during the musical numbers. Um, was that difficult for you, or you just feel comfortable? I feel comfortable doing oh, that. I think so, too. It just comes through. Uh, now, I wouldn't ask uh, your counterpart here, but what is your age? Uh, ten. Okay. Holy cow. Amazing. <laughs> just well, turned always ten. naturally musical? Oh, pardon? Always oh. naturally musical? Um, yeah, kind of. You see, it's accomplished ten-year-old. You guys wonder, what the heck? <laughs> That is so inspiring. That's fantastic. Um, what have, um, when you've, when you, now you have the role, you're ready to go, ready to perform. Uh, what do you think about Stop and Tom? I would, I like his music. Um, I'm not sure what he was like as a person, but as a songwriter, I do like that aspect of his career and life. Okay. Now, is there anything else I've forgotten to ask that you would like to get out? I don't think so, no. And, uh, um, well, um, yeah, well, I, I suppose I'd like to say that uh, it is, uh, it's, an, it's an honor and a privilege and a, and a, good res a big responsibility uh, to, play, uh, to play Tom, because, you know, we're, we're starting to lose our, our Canadian singer-songwriters from, from back then. Another thing I'd like to say is that I'm very... Uh, personally pleased and, and thrilled to be uh, working here uh, at the Capitol Theater. I've seen many of my friends and colleagues perform here over the years and I'm happy to, to finally be here. It's a beautiful theater and it's a, it's a lovely town to spend uh, a little bit of my summer in. Oh, lovely, thank you.